two-time NCAA champion now at 197 pounds. And Jay, you can go ahead and drink some water tonight, right? You can go ahead and drink some water, right? You don't have to get on scales. Okay. If you have a drink, take your time, and you can make a, a brief statement about your match, and we'll open it up for questions. All right. Um, go right ahead. Oh, um, like I said, he's a tough competitor. Wrestles through position. You saw that um, today. Um, I swear I had that cradle. I swear I did. But no, it's uh, exactly what I said. It's going to be tough. He's strong. He wrestles through position. Great scambler. Great knowledge. Um, I'm grateful to have uh, come out on top. We're right here first. Jaden, was there any Jeez, point in that match? Sorry, please. Todd Palmer, Kansas City Star. Was there any point in that match, Jaden, where you were getting frustrated because, you know, especially the second period, it looked like he was backing away from you a lot? Uh, you know, yes and no. I think the frustration was coming more so from myself. Because um, whenever I don't get to someone's legs, I don't really view it as that person's fault. I always think of, like, put it on me, like I missed or I didn't go fast enough. You know, because he's doing what he's supposed to do, move his leg. Uh, it was my job to get there, and I didn't get there on time. Um, but uh, no, I don't think it was so much as frustrated. I was more so frustrated when I saw there was three seconds left until I like, got riding time, and I saw he got out with 57 seconds of riding time. And I was, I was just like, gosh dang, like, that one kind of sunk in on me right there. I was like, oh, that stinks. Next question. Jaden Zub Miller, Flow Wrestling, Ohio Cast. Uh, two part. Does it doesn't feel good to be back on top. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Which one felt better? The first one, which was in the, in your home state, mm -hmm. or no, it was in Oklahoma. 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 Which one felt better? This one, New York City, or the one in Oklahoma? I think they both feel great in their own ways. O Oklahoma felt great because I was really young and I had done something that was very rare, and that was, you know, and at, at a weight that was basically, you know, all men. So that was alone, like that was really cool on its own. This one is more so great because of how much I had to change and give up and sacrifice and train and, and do you know certain things to, to change myself and change my body. It made me have to, you know, it's really it was a growth period. And then to see that stuff pay off is what makes this one so great. You know, that's why afterwards you don't see a, a great a great celebration because it was uh, it was more of an inner, I was more so proud of everything I've gone through and everything that I had to do and I was proud of myself, you know. Um, but it felt great in his own just knowing that. Front row here. Jaden Todd again. Um, is this this one dedicated to anyone? Um, and uh, you know, I mean, you, you talked about wanting to come out here and dominate and wrap to this title. Do you feel like you succeeded in that goal? Yes, I, I believe I did. Um, I, I believe I, I, gave, I had a great outing here at the NCAAs this year. It definitely improved from the last two years. Um, as for dedication for this title, it goes to everyone that's ever had my back. Everyone that has, uh, you know, always been there, and not just when times like this happen, when things are great, but you know, everything, when everything's going wrong and things that you know things are hard. People that have your back, like that, and the people who, who are always there, you know, that you consider family, even though they're not blood. Those are what this dedicates to because, you know, this wasn't easy. It was not an easy journey, you know. There were times in this year that I was very frowned upon by the social, social media and social eye. And so to find those people, know you have those people around you, it's a blessing to have those kind of people. So this goes to them because, you know, they kept me on the right track and kept my mind, you know, stable. And, uh, you know, they helped carry me. They helped carry me. Gary? Uh, Gary Abbey, USA Wrestling. Um, I'll do a two-pointer on two questions here, if you don't mind. Um, talk about the key to that that takedown that really made the difference late in the match and, and how you got it. And The secondary question would be, are you planning to go to the Olympic trials and, and test yourself in a few weeks in Iowa City? Um, well, the key to getting the takedown is getting both legs. Um, I mean, that's basically it. Um, I've always had trouble getting both of McIntosh's legs together. I've never, ever... I don't think I've gotten just a clean takedown on him. You know, it's always it's always a little work. You know, he's definitely one of those guys when coach says they can make the guy work and, and drill and practice when you're drilling. He's definitely one of those guys that makes you do that. That's what you're training for. So I mean, I never got a clean takedown. So I knew I had to get both of his legs together. Um, once I got to his right leg um, on the first shot that I had taken, which 
didn't expect to get to. I was just taking it to hopefully set him up for the sweep single to the left. But I got there and he sat to his butt. I thought I had it, but then he you know, kicked out and then I got to the left leg and I was way more comfortable because it was like I'd already gotten the sweep. And so, and then he sat to his foot and his butt was on top of it and I just drove, drove down, put weight on his leg and uh, drove him down to the mat and got the two. You know. Olympic trials? That's what Olympic trials, um, I'm not sure about that yet. Um, I live day by day. Um, so when that day comes, when that door comes, I'll, I'll be sure to let you know if I'm walking through it or not. If not, uh, then you'll know that too. But uh, as of right now, um, I'm a two-time NCAA national champion, so I'm going to enjoy that. Last question. Kyle Klingman from Wynn. Two years ago, when you were going to the finals, Brian Smith actually took you out to the race stage to show you around. He said you were a kid in a candy store. Are you still that kid in a candy store? Are you still enamored with all this? Yeah, my motto is, you know, the kid leads the man and God leads all. So, you know, I'm a kid in a man's body, you know, and I'm, and I'm a Christian and God's going to take me wherever he so pleases. Um, but that's how, that's how I live, you know. You know, kid leads the man, God leads all. You know, I live my life, God leads it, so. Take one more. The uh, list of Missouri two-time champions now goes Ben Asker and Jaden Cox. How does that feel? It, it feels pretty awesome. Um, but I'm not going to make the same mistake I did uh, after I won my freshman year. I'm not going to let my diet fluctuate. I'm not going to yo-yo. I'm going to pursue to get better. Um, I think a big goal for me next year is to not just make it to the finals. Um, I, got, I got two big goals, and I already knew what they were. And one of them was kind of this year, this year goal, and I feel like I could have made a good, I could have made a good argument to be holy. But um, my next year goals are one, to dominate the NCAA finals. Um, you know, NCAA tournament, I know I can do that. So that's going to be something that's just in the back pocket. We're going to go ahead and try and train for that. But to dominate the NCAA finals because I haven't had, a, I don't think a dominant dominant match. Um, but also my goal for next year is to win the Hodge. I really want to be a part of that, um, and I want to be part of something that people, you know, have to recognize that you are one of the best wrestlers in the country. You know, I feel like without my, if I didn't have my blemish, I think I maybe I would have been, had a chance at the running. You know, so um, and it was very disappointing to know that you know one blemish takes you out of that thing. But uh, <laughs> you know, that's why you have next year, right? Jaden, thank you so much. Congratulations, two-time NCAA champ, one ninety.